This movie tells a story about Sophie, a blind woman who cat sits in a secluded mansion. When three thieves invade for the hidden safe, Sophie's only defense is army veteran Kelly, who helps Sophie defend herself against the invaders and survive. First of all, the home invasion is a subgenre that when all the parts connect together can be brutal and nerve shredding. But over the years, it has become steadily bogged down with conventional and contrived efforts. What about this one? Unfortunately, this is one of the disappointing ones. This movie has an intriguing concept that could have transcended the boundaries of a well-worn genre. It serves up some familiar beats with a few predictable twists and turns, but what follows is a formulaic blueprint for the home invasion film. The premise is entirely intriguing, especially since the movie is playing into the moral complexities of its characters. The movie offers a victim who is blind, but she's not quite as innocent as she looks. After around 20 minutes, there is a real promise that this movie is going to be a heart-pounding thrill ride. Unfortunately, all the tropes used here are familiar, the movie treads little new ground, it lacks of innovation, and the film's trajectory is a predictable one. The audience already knows pretty much how things are going to unfold from those first act clues. Throughout her ordeal, Sophie uses an app called C4Me, which allows her to connect remotely with Kelly, who essentially acts as Sophie's eyes and allows her to maneuver their surroundings safely. The idea is solid, but the execution feels unrealistic and the sequences themselves didn't carry the required tension. This connection between the girls feels forced as well, further lending itself to filler throughout the film. With the introduction of Kelly and the c for me app, the film loses its flow as well. This flow is further disrupted with the introduction of the home invaders. As the film continues, constantly adding storylines and characters, there's a sense of multiple ideas being glued together. The movie fails to do the transition smoothly. When the third act comes and is rushed through, the tension had dissipated entirely. Eventually, the promising setup never comes to fruition due to frustrating script and the third act that descends into near absurdity. While the visual is good, the acting here is pretty much standard. Skylar Davenport, who plays Sophie, is visually impaired in real life, so she gets most of the things right. Overall, Sophie's fight against home invaders may seem appealing, but the film's disjointed nature of narrative and horror leaves much to be desired. It's frustrating when a film gives us an original character and an engaging first act while following so predictably in the shoes of other home invasion movies. This movie is a frustrating one to watch. We do not recommend this movie at all.